not everybody thinks you need John the Baptist to be throwing the ball at you Jesus do, Christ. Well, you should. When he got Jesus Christ running across the top of water, running around quicker and more explosive than anybody yeah. else, anybody can throw a ball. Here's Micah Parsons from Micah <laughs> Parsons' podcast speaking about the job of quarterback whenever you have great weapons. We would like it to be known we are massive fans of Micah Parsons. And Micah knows in here he's talking completely out of pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Here's him from his podcast. You look at... You know, what Purdy's doing, Purdy is playing great football for a second-year QB regardless. I think – but the thing about it, I think his playmakers are just making better plays. Um, if you see Debo's runs, those are quick passes. Yes, he's getting it to him. But honestly, sometimes – Truth to be about it or not, and I am talking crazy no. right yep. now. Yeah. You are. I am yep. talking crazy right now. Yeah, we agree. And I'm and I'm talking very crazy. Yep. Noted. I truly believe I could be Tyreek Hill's quarterback. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Micah. Yeah. I could throw it up to Tyreek Hill. Yeah. yeah I could throw a screen pass to Debo. Yeah. Like I and this might be the crazy <laughs> mad inside of me, no. but these players are just that good. Mm. Christian McCaffrey's just that good. Okay. If I get to get the ball out to Christian McCaffrey in space, he's going to make someone miss. He's yeah. going to make a play happen for him. Just throwing right there. Easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You Kittle, they're a great playmaker. If you watch that game, sure. they were able to make people's miss mm-hmm. and obviously make big plays off of it. Small pass, precise yeah. passes oh. um, kept in front of them. You look at this, this, the pass chart, right? Those, those aren't. Hard passes, they're good passes. <laughs> okay. okay. But those players are really freaking hard. good at what they do. Yeah, they're some they're of the best. Yeah. Uh, some of the, they these are. players <laughs> top five uh, at their at their uh position. That's right. Um Okay. But they they're just super good. Mm-hmm. Um and, and and that's just what they do. Okay. All right, oh. Michael, we appreciate <laughs> All you. Right, Michael. Micah. And I Micah is much better at football than I'll ever be. Me too. So I will take whatever he says. Me too. As a matter of fact, until I have a differing opinion that just think like, yep, that's not right what you just said. (laughs) Yeah. Because his own teammate, Trey Lance, couldn't do it. Yeah. Right. I mean, that guy's on the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Could not do it. Why do you think there continues to be this narrative? Mike is just another one on the list. Mm -hmm. You know, we all know Dan Orlovsky. Yeah. Yeah. And we know there's many other people that are just like, he was Mr. Irrelevant. So the scouts coming out didn't think he was good. It can't be good. Why does this continue (laughs) to be? the narrative about Brock Purdy. I get it that, yeah, throwing a screen to Christian McCaffrey is is easy to do. Sure. Now, granted, you have to hit him yep. in, stri- in yeah. mm-hmm. on a slant to Debo. you got to hit it. you got to put him right there. And I bet Micah, with how athletic he is, mm-hmm. absolutely can put a ball in a bucket. Well, yeah. I believe he And I know Micah, with how uh, much he knows football, he can dissect the defense quickly and know exactly sure. where he's supposed to go mm-hmm. and put the ball into a one-foot-by-one-foot one keyhole, yeah. keyhole spot yeah. on perfect timing. I think Micah can do that. That's how athletic I think Micah is. Sure. But Mike has now added to another list of people that just think yeah. what Brock Purdy's doing isn't impressive. Why is this the case, you think, Debo? I mean, the play, because of the, how talented the guys are around him, and that's that's just a credit to John Lynch and the team he put together. They are surrounded by dogs, but all those things you mentioned, you mentioned the guys who've been in there. Sam Darnold, I mean, Brock Purdy was barely out of concussion protocol. Hey, nah, you're playing. This, yeah. you, you get, get your ass out there. So, I mean, you got it's so much that goes into quarterback play from game planning, from uh, you know not riding the ebbs and flows, from making those on target passes, reading coverages. And look, Michael's Michael's obviously a phenomenal athlete. If it was one player that I had to say, hey, we got a team, we got to pick one guy that has to play all 11 spots, Michael would probably be the first overall pick in that type of draft. But this is what Michael does. And I love that he has a podcast and a platform. He did it with Jalen Hurts last year, talked about the talent, the offensive line, and the yeah. oh, group right around there. him. That came back. He, obviously talking about Tua, and actually I could throw the ball to Tyreek Hill. Yeah. So this, this, is, this is right up. Yeah, I Michael's can throw it up to Tyreek Hill. Anybody Easy. can. Anybody can throw it. I mean, look how fast he is. Come on, you wide open. Throw the ball as far as you can. Yeah. I love it out of Micah. And once again, Micah has earned the right to say whatever. Now, sure. there's people that aren't Micah that are saying similar things, though, that have only worn suits their entire life sure. and gone to school to be in the media, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden they're allowed to say whatever they want because they are you know, graduates of a brainwashing media school. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, right. like, that is something that some people start talking. But Micah certainly feeds those people mm-hmm. even more whenever he says things like this. It's his opinions. It's his thoughts. Yeah. But I think what we all say is, like, hey, those peoples is different. Tua, yeah. different. Yeah. Purdy, different. Different. Yeah, right. There's a, there's levels to this. And he wants his quarterback to win MVP too. Which, yeah. Dak, who's playing great, 
who's surrounded by some pretty good easy. Uh, talent as yeah. well. That was an easy throw. That's an easy throw. They did the leave that. 35. Out there. Boom. That's an easy, easy throw. throw. Just that's out? easy, easy did, throw. Was, now, did he put it right in? Yeah. He did. That but that's throw? easy. It's easy. I and did. by Jawan Jennings, too. Everybody knows who that yeah. is. Oh, yeah. yeah of course. Most guys ab know. Absolute. Yeah. And I don't want to turn this into a we'll go to bat for Brock Purdy show. I will, though. I will but it's starting to become that. Yeah. Because this dude is phenomenal at football. Oh, sure. His swagger and moxie is awesome as well. And he doesn't really ever make it about himself ever. He's like handled it all mm -hmm. perfectly while playing lights out football since day one getting the opportunity. Do you think that's why though? Like we see how he dresses pregame. He's wearing the stuff from Coles or Old Navy. Like he's never talking shit. He's always praising everyone else. Huh. It's never, you know, I Anything about him, he could always play better. He could always do better. Like if he was one of those guys who post game was a little fiery and was like talking shit and kind of saying like, "Yeah, I'm very, very good." No one wants to talk about it. No one wants to admit it. But if he came out and said that, maybe people would change their tune a little bit. I don't know. It was that three game stretch too when Debo when Debo was out. Sure, was that was out. tough. Then you lose three games, but you look at the you look at the stats, you look at the film. Brock still played well. Well, I mean, Cleveland defense, too, also. Yeah. Cleveland defense, you know, obviously not a walk in the park. Brock still played well, but you have that three-game skill when you do lose a guy. Like I said, they are phenomenal players, but once again, you have to have a guy that's under center that can pull the trigger. Was this a shot at CeeDee Lamb as well and stuff like that? He didn't say he could play a quarterback for his own team. And you know what? All this slander about Brock Purdy bums me out. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, oh. Yeah, it, it bums me out. You're bummed out because he's a he's a really good quarterback, and just because he was Mr. Irrelevant and all that, it it bums me out. Okay, I am. I am, <laughs> I am out of pocket right now. But Mike can say whatever the hell he wants. But this is like a narrative out there, JJ. Well, I mean, yeah. To his credit, he said I'm I'm probably crazy like six times. So he did preface it with an acknowledgement of the craziness of what he was about to say. So, touche. Um, I, I do think it is – I do think that Brock doesn't get enough credit. I mean, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, like, you know, like Tom had – not throughout his whole career, but he had Randy Moss. Like, the quarterbacks have had great – like, you can't punish a guy because he's got incredible weapons. And there's zero denying he has incredible weapons. The weapons around him are unbelievable. But that doesn't take away from the fact that he's delivering, that he's orchestrating, that he's leading, that he's doing everything it takes. Um, I think it's very easy for us to sit and say, you know, anybody could do that job. But the reality is there's 32 starting quarterbacks in the National Football League, and not a lot of them are performing anywhere near that level. And then backups come in, and they don't perform near that level. But then Jake Browning has a great night, uh, which was an incredible night. He deserves credit for that. Yeah, but that Jake. Was spectacular. Um, but I think, I think Brock, like, it's not like he did this for two games. Like, it's not like he just came in, replaced somebody, and had two great games and then fell off. He has consistently shown that he is able to do this, that he's able to read the defenses, that he's able to deliver the ball, that he's able to do everything this offense needs him to do. So give the guy some credit. Like, I, it sucks when everybody just picks apart performances by a guy. Like, the guy's playing lights out. Yeah, he makes wow. throws, too, that are just in a bucket. I'm very thankful for him. But the only reason why we bring it up is because – the confidence that Micah has is awesome. Yeah. I hope he keeps it. Awesome. That, uh, awesome. Yeah. It is fantastic. But that is like a narrative about Brock. And he, but it's not by the books. Not by the books. He's currently odds-on favorite to win MVP. Here Way we go. to go, Thank Brock. You, Way to go, Brock. I believe he has moved to the odds-on favorite, which, you know, wouldn't have happened, I feel like, just a few months ago. No. In the conversation, he's gimmick, he's gimmick. The sports books are finally giving him some credit. Dak Prescott has had yeah. a phenomenal year. Very, very. Jalen Hurts, obviously, all that guy does is win and produce. How will they respond mm -hmm. after what happened with Brock Good Purdy question. and the Niners? Patrick Mahomes, how will they yeah. respond after, after what happened with the Green Bay Packers, obviously? And then Lamar Jackson, they've been dominant on the AFC side. A lot of people say they're the most complete and consistent team on the AFC. Is it because Lamar Jackson? And how about Tua? Mm -hmm. driving that mm -hmm. Lamborghini, that 700-horsepower offense right. to perfection while also playing. Yeah. Eric Clapton mm -hmm. on Monday Night Football. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's a great crew right now. It's a great crew of MVP candidates, and Brock Purdy's at the top fit in the sports book size. I hope the humans I all, think, all kind of help. Buy I think we need to go to a best quarterback award and a best player award because Tyreek Hill, the season he's putting up is – unbelievable it's like what he's doing on a week-to-week -week basis the numbers he's going to have at the end of the year 
Like he absolutely deserves. And yes, we can, we're probably going to give MVP to a quarterback. We're probably going to give offensive player of the year to Tyreek, but like he deserves some sort of recognition for the season he's putting up. It is mind boggling what he does on a weekly basis. But as I've always said, the MVP Jeez. is 100% yeah. a quarterback award as it should be, because the most valuable player is the guy that touches the ball every single snap and the guy that controls the whole game. And that's always going to be a quarterback. But, like a guy like Tyreek deserves credit for what he's doing. It's it's incredible. I saw you give a speech on uh, uh, CBS on Sunday, I believe, about that entire topic. It was great. Very well delivered. Yeah. You know, the angle. Because who won it over you the year you were the best player in football? Uh, Aaron. Oh. Aaron who? Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh. oh. <clears throat> yeah, you're sure. yeah, Conspiracy. best friend of the show. Conspiracy theorist Whoa! in New York yesterday. Whoa. Uh, See what going at journos, going all over, going at the journos. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Great, I mean, Hall of you, Fame. Did you for, win it any other year? No. He got four. Like, he couldn't even just give up one. Yeah, like, four of them. He's got four. Like, come on. Aaron Donald probably should have one, too. Boom, that's a thought. Mm. So you had to answer that question a lot, I assume. So that's I've answered it my whole life. But I, 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 Stay with it to this day. That Could I you imagine most you have an valuable MVP player, defensive player. That'd be wow. sweet. Oh most God. valuable player is a quarterback. Like it should be. It always will be. So don't like. There's no point in even having the debate or the discussion. That's just physically how it will be. You could be the phys- the best player on the planet, and you will not be more valuable to your team than a great quarterback. 